Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you liked that intro. So obviously it is morel season, so this morning I went and picked a couple uh, morel mushrooms and now we're up at one of my favorite fishing lakes. And what we're gonna do is catch some rainbow trout and then deep fry some morels and some trout and have a little lunch here by the lake. So let's get to fishing and see if we can't catch some trout. I'm just gonna start out with a little uh, gold Vibrax spinner. See if I can uh, get one of these fish to bite. I can see them down in the water from the bridge. So I'm going to see if I can get one to, to bite on a spinner first. All right, well, I can't get any of these trout to, to strike on a spinner. So I'm going to toss around a little 1 8 ounce jig head with a red grub on it. And I'm being real lazy and I'm not taking the snap swivel off. But all right, let's toss this around, see if we can't get something to strike. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to fall in the water one day on camera. I guess that'll be a treat for you guys when it happens. Ooh, ooh. Is this going to float me? Oh, I'm like on a little island here. Holy cow. I can't believe it. I made it. Okay. No way. No way. Get it. Get it. Come on. And he's toying with it. Take it. Take take, take all the bait. We gotta check and see if we even got a worm on there still. Oh. Oh, he got away clean with all the bait. No hook in the mouth. Oh. Let's cast back out there, see if we can get this guy. He's taking it. He's taking it. Oh, oh, I missed him again. Oh, I missed him again. Oh, the tragedy. Oh, take it. Take it. I just take the whole thing. Take the whole thing. Oh, did you take my worm again? Did you? Oh, this is infuriating. And they're jumping all around me. Makes me want to switch over to a spinner or a spoon. I'm getting lots of bites on this worm under the bobber. Just can't quite hook one. It's like they know to just bite it. To just bite it right where there isn't a hook. Okay, if this doesn't work here in a second, I'm going to switch over and do a little more top water with a spinner or something. I don't know what happened to the audio in this in this clip, which is a real bummer because this is one of my favorite clips of the whole video. But after two spots and a couple hours of fishing and missing a bunch of fish under a worm at this spot, I tied on a jig head and finally got this fish all the way up to here. And then this happens. My reaction was priceless. Let me demonstrate. You mother I hope you're Guys, this is getting serious. <laughs> it's almost comical at this point. Okay, I'm going to toss around this little curly tail grub. It's a little uh, watermelon color with an orange 1 8 ounce head. I'm going to jig it around here. I just caught one on this uh, and I lost him. I can actually see fish underneath me because I'm up on this log. Just had one on. Gah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Don't you. Oh, he came off. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. Finally. Oh. A little guy, just a little dinky guy. Oh my god! Oh, I can't believe it. There he goes. 
He's a little too small to keep. Dang it. Okay, I gotta cross back over the log of doom. Really don't want to fall in. Let's see. He'll be on camera if I do. Oh Jesus. Oh God. It's probably about four or five feet deep. Getting shallower, getting shallower. Oof. Oh God. Oh, 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 we made it. I made it. <laughs> Man, what a wackadoo turn of events. So I got to this lake this morning and I fished for a little while here. There were fish everywhere. Um, there were also three families right across the lake with a bunch of little kids screaming and yelling, which is awesome. I'm super down with people getting outside, but it doesn't really vibe with the filming and fishing with the kids throwing rocks in the water and stuff. So there was like five of us fishing. We could see fish all, all in the water, but nobody could catch one. <clears throat> so what I did is I went up the road a little ways to a pond, which I've actually never fished before. Um, I drive by it on the way to this lake all the time, um, but I've never stopped and fished it before. And I wasn't even sure there were fish in there, and I couldn't stop getting bites. Uh, the, the bite was just like crazy on up there, but I couldn't land a fish. It's like those, it's like a little pond with the, uh, with invincible fish, the smartest fish in the world. Anyway, I'm back at this lake. Uh, it's nice and quiet now at this point, so I'm back at this lake. I'm gonna try and catch a gosh dang trout to cook. So let's get back to fishing and see if we can make this happen. Oh my god oh my god no way no way oh my god don't come off don't come off do not come off oh that's a decent fish that is a keeper no way come on oh you gotta be kidding me oh you've got to be kidding me oh oh, oh my net is way over there Oh, no way, no way, holy crap, did you see the size of that fish, holy crap, there's a, what is happening, there's a massive bull trout, that had to be like six pounds, and I have a bull trout on my line right now, and the other bull trout just came up and attacked this huge bull trout. What? Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Oh my God, that's a good fish. I can't keep it. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's get you gone, buddy. Be gone with you. Wow. No wonder there's no rainbows in here right now. Those massive bull trout. Man, that one was... That was one of the biggest bull trout I've ever seen. Swam right... Oh, 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 I got one. Got one. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, I hope it's a rainbow. Come on, be a keeper. Let's be a keeper. Come on, buddy. It's gonna drag this guy in. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh, in the net. I got him in the net. Finally. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> What in the hell? What a weird day of fishing, finally. Oh. 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 I 
set the hook in the wrong direction. I pulled it, I pulled it straight out of his mouth instead of up and hooking him. Whoops, got a little excited there. Oh, now that I come over here, you guys are all jumping around over there. Oh, there's one, got one. Hey, buddy. Oh. It's your lucky day, kind of. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Um, what a bizarre day of fishing though. It's been just the strangest day of fishing. But check this out, you guys. All right. Look at the colors on this guy. Nice spots on top, pink down the middle, bright belly. It's probably uh, oh, 14 inches or so. It's a really, really beautiful fish. So we're going to take this guy and uh, let's go cook him up with some morels. I'm stoked because I am hungry. Found myself a nice little spot in the shade here. I've been standing out in the sun all day. I got, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, I got pretty red there. Um, it is uh, like the first basically nice sunny week here in western Washington. Uh, it was up in like the 60s today. Super, super beautiful day. But let me show you guys what I got going on. I'm super excited. I'm super hungry. Of course, we got our egg wash and then our flour loaded with, uh, loaded with Old Bay. I already got the trout um, in there getting some flour. Here's a, just a few morels that we picked this morning. We didn't take too many. Uh, just enough. Uh, these are our tongs to get stuff in and out of the deep fryer. And then we got some oil heating up. Got a little uh, test piece of trout here. Not quite hot enough yet. What I do is I'll take like a little test piece of usually something with some flour on it. And then I'll just uh, dip a little bit in the oil. And if it goes, then you know the oil's ready. Pretty primitive way, but I'm working with a jet boil here. People will be looking at me all crazy. I'd be mad jealous of me too right now. All right, I think that oil's ready. All, I forgot my uh, forgot my fillet knife. All I had was a pocket knife. I got some pretty um, sloppily filleted pieces of trout here, but oh yeah, there we go. That's a frying. Well, I'm running out of light and I'm running out of time. So I just cooked up a little bit of this to show you guys. I'm gonna take the rest home and cook it up when I get back there. But here it is, deep fried trout and deep fried morels picked today, fried using a jet boil. Mmm, you guys should put the word out to, uh, to Old Bay. Tell Old Bay to sponsor me. I love Old Bay. Mm. If you put Old Bay in your uh, as seasoning in your flour to fry stuff, it's not get any better. Well, we've done the trout before. We know that's good. Ow. Oh, leg cramp. Now the mushrooms are a little bit tougher. Goal is to get them crisped up, but I don't think I quite did it. They're a little soggy. There's one of the mushrooms right there. Oh, hot, still hot. Mm. Man. Yeah, come on Old Bay, sponsor me. Old Bay and Mountain Dew. I'm gonna mix them together. <laughs> Extreme. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Man, I love morels. Morel season, you know, is only like, I don't know, four, four to six weeks long or something, but yeah, we're gonna have to do some more morel videos because these are awesome. I think it's about time for a haircut. Thanks for joining me on this video, guys. What a weird day of fishing, but it was super, super fun. If you guys are into fishing, backpacking, hiking, the outdoors, this kind of stuff, go check out the description box down below. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm always leaving links to cool gear, information, and other videos down there. So thanks again, you guys, for watching, and we will see you on the next adventure.